Well, here we are on YouTube and here you are joining us from wherever you're joining us. That could be Twitch, Discord, Patreon. You could be watching this. Um, and uh, there's a lot of ways that you can you can join us. So feel free to, to figure it out. It's all in the description. Check it out. What are we up for here today, Ryan? Well, it's a Patreon request. Speaking of Patreon, this is from Caitlin. This is Harry Styles. The song is called Him. Okay. It's unreleased. That oh, means, okay. It, so that means this, no, I don't know what that means. Unreleased, but we're listening to it. <laughs> How does that work? Did somebody like, anyway. get like a pirated copy of it. Oh, a leak. Yeah, are we gonna get in trouble? Are we gonna get in trouble playing this? I think it's leaked so, on YouTube. If it's on YouTube, it's mostly fine. Although we have right, but the, it's just funny how it's unreleased. But I mean, I guess it's out there leaked. Was it an official leak? Was it a hairy leak? Mm -hmm. Was it a studio leak? Was it a, Did he take a disgruntled leak? employee? Did he take a leak? So uh, this is the note from Caitlin. She said that uh, this is an unreleased song by Harry Styles that is speculated, of course, <laughs> to be about Taylor Swift. Oh. She goes on to say, I'm a huge fan of both of them. And we are too, by the way. We don't mm -hmm. take sides. Their relationship aside, I love both of them, I think, equally as well as artists. Mm -hmm. Just as artists. I don't really care about their personal life, but uh, I like both of them very much. Um she goes on to say, oh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of both. And it's been fun, she says, watching you guys react to both of them. And, of course, recently even some of the overlaps between the two. But regardless of who the song is about, it is such a good one. And honestly, I think one where Harry sounds the most emotional vocally. Ooh. And overall, is a, just a great song. Hope you'll like it. Okay, wow, very interesting. And I agree with Kayla. I, we haven't heard the song yet, but despite how it sounds... Or sorry, who is it? Who it's about? It's mm -hmm. be interesting to hear the emotion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's listen for that. Oh, people are saying. Uh, oh, that is yes. Kath. Are you the Caitlin in this? I'm sorry, I just hate to ask, but there's Cat and Kate. I don't know if it's the same person. Um, sort of. No. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So Kath said that uh, it was an unofficial leak. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. okay. Officially unofficial. <laughs> hmm. Kind of a dark yeah, piano. Yeah, so piano. Yeah. The right is always to the one who stays and the one who's leaving you. Hear me out, my apology. Cause I'm not here for sympathy Cause I don't want to hear about him How he's holding you better at night I don't want to hear about him In these songs you continue to write I was with you when you wrote that line It was me that you had on your mind So I don't want to hear about him Is that a song? Time. Is that a song? But, I mean, it's pretty obvious that that's a song oh. title. Wildest Dreams is a Taylor Swift song. I don't hear about him How he's holding you better at night and I don't want to hear about him In these songs you continue to write I was with you when you wrote that line It was me that you had on your mind So I don't want to hear about him Do you know what it's like to fall in love from the outside and I don't know but I've been trying for you for me Now I know what it's like to fall in love from the outside Oh wait 
That's got my brain juices spinning here. I'm trying to figure out, like, yeah, like, this would have been leaked. I would guess he leaked it himself. I'm going to throw that out there. Um, meaning, like, oh, whoops, you know, this got out. Didn't catch it. Someone, how it got out. But it's, it seems very intentional, very specific. You got like specific lyrics from her, either lyrics or or word or the title of one of her songs, right? Um, yeah, and it's it's it, it's like it, it's so good, it's so like raw, I guess. You know, I think that's that's the part that um, Caitlin, right, that gave this. Caitlin mentioned that this is a this is where he's the most emotional and i i agree there's some moments here where i don't don't know if we've ever heard harry sing like that before um at sign least of the with, times sign of the times has, has a similar emotion for sure but i i can hear that like like kind of holding not holding back but like kind of letting out some of that emotion in the song so uh, it's a fantastic song and uh, and i can see like the producers going like Ah, this one is probably we're too too close on the mark, and that's why I think Harry leaked it. Uh, that's why I think he went like, okay, well, uh, oops, dropped this CD on the floor. Oh, I'm reaching for it. Oh, I missed it. Something like that. Sure. You know? <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say. No, oh, yes, yeah, good. Um, I agree with everything. I, I suspect I agree with you saying that it was under Harry's authority or knowledge or whatever is like can someone just oops yeah um because i i don't think when it got official here's here's a question maybe something when it was quote unquote unofficially leaked did harry make a stink right did he try to find did he try to find the perpetrator did he go who i'm gonna find out who did that i don't know who who releases yeah he said nothing did nothing there you go mm. that's mm. okay all right yeah 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 just like, whoop, there's a song, and Harry's like, I, 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 I don't see, you know. Okay, so I, I find that stuff very interesting, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I do find that kind of stuff interesting. Because at the end of the day, Harry, Taylor, myself, you, we're all just humans, mm -hmm. having emotions, having feelings, having mm -hmm. thoughts. Uh, unlike me, or unlike him, I can't sing, perform, or write, so when I have mine, I just talk, or whatever. But he's able to artistically, you know, talk through his feelings through song. A lot of artists do this. This is how he, this is what it means to me. This is how I felt. I, I think it is obviously about Taylor. Um, and I'm suspecting now with this song and the one that we just heard at the time of this recording, we heard, uh, Oh, perfect. By one direction that he wrote with Louis mm -hmm. and he wrote as a response to Taylor's writing a song about him. I would suspect that I think Harry out of the relationship breakup, whatever mm -hmm. the reasons, however long they dated, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. This is me speculating. This is just fan speculation, but it's interesting. I find this interesting because remember, these are big artists. Think back in the day when like uh, Harry, when Elvis married, Lee, uh, uh, it was it Lisa Marie. Was that the wife's name? Pr yeah, Pris or was it Priscilla? Sorry, Priscilla. Priscilla was the was the wife. His yeah. daughter is Lisa Marie. Yeah. That's right. So that's that's big news. Like these are big stars. You know, think mm -hmm. of all the old and stars at the time. Like it's big news when someone gets married or dates or whatever. So this this isn't uncommon. There's nothing wrong with speculating about you know the the ins and outs of things. But this is my speculation. I think Harry was hurt the most mm. by the breakup. I think if I was to guess. I think he, if you were to, if you were to 
gauge the you know the level of who was slighted the most because in every relation it's very very rarely are both people equally meh whatever Mm -hmm. it can happen where both are equally we don't care yeah there's a level like if zero was neither one has any feeling on the matter that's zero i suspect harry on whatever graft it is probably felt the worst about the breakup i suspect he felt the most hurt or not betrayed just the most hurt or oh man i'm not with her anymore i wonder i could be wrong yeah, based on I that song, I would say based on that song. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think would would push that much further. Before this song, I didn't even care. Like I was kind of like, eh. you know, like what what does it matter? But that's why we're speculating. Like, that's why we're speculating yeah. about it now because of this song. He's sharing well unofficially. He's sharing this insight to the public. Yeah, yeah, interesting. And it was leaked in 2022, apparently. Oh, recently. Okay. Yeah. So he was 18 and she was like 22. And as you know, especially for females, most females are mature at a younger age and men take longer to get there. So he could have been a little bit, you know, like when you're 18, a 22, 23 year old is a big, it's kind of a big age gap. And yeah. for male to female, it's the way it works. I'm sorry. I'm speaking as a guy. I can, I believe I'm qualified to do that. If I was 18 years old, dating the huge star at the time, which would have been Taylor. Mm-hmm. she's gorgeous she's tall she's sexy she's bright she's smart and mm-hmm. it's and for harry he's probably a little bit like us a little, a little bit immature probably farts you know he, you know probably is <laughs> like he's a he's a boy right he's 18 right. you're kind of a you're still a, you're kind of still growing mm-hmm. and uh i suspect he was the the younger both physically and mentally in the relationship and so yeah he was probably totally enamored by taylor and mm-hmm. she was probably the leadership role in that in that relationship and she probably ended it and he's like oh but i really like you so anyways i'm speculating because mm-hmm. of their age difference and who taylor is and i i get it taylor's a catch man yeah like i think she's a bigger catch than harry i think if you were yeah oh, i think really? yeah i think if you're just talking about dating i'm not talking about money stardom or talent i think if i was equally as attracted to men as i am to women let's say and I had to choose between dating a Harry or dating a Taylor. I think Taylor is quote unquote probably the bigger catch. I think she is the one that. So mm-hmm. the guy that she's with now, Joe, mm-hmm. bless his heart, he's got it for six years. I mean, that's a he's doing something right. I mm-hmm. think she's. I would say she's the ho- hardest to hold on to. But I think she's just the bigger. That's just me. Again, everyone has their own opinions, but I just that's how I feel. Just and I bless Harry's heart. I bless Harry's heart. I, I love him. So I, he felt, I think he felt sad about this. I, I feel bad that he felt sad. Yeah. In that hypothetical situation, I am the exact opposite. I would think oh. Harry is the bigger catch. Interesting. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. So let us know who's, who's, well, a lot of Harry stands are going to be watching this up. So they're going to say Harry's a bigger catch, but uh, yeah. So anyways, but we love them both and we want them both to be happy. And mm-hmm. I hope Harry finds a girl one day. I hope, I hope he has options. <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know if he's gonna be able I, to, to find anyone i, guess, I know so. it must be tough <laughs> hmm. who hmm. to date who to, yeah. he could call he could call anybody <laughs> anybody could you imagine that kind of like uh hi i i, I saw your youtube channel and i think you're kind of cute when you want to hang out for the one i go you want to come to paris and have dinner with me <laughs> like it, it, <laughs> Can you imagine? That's that's power, man. There's nobody that says no. Like, who says no? No, I'm not interested. Yeah. yeah let me just check my schedule. No, I would say yes to go on a date with her. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's go have dinner. I mean, I'm not going to kiss you. Maybe hold hands, but okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. That's that's a lot. Okay, cool. If you enjoyed that's what we do on this channel. That's what we do on this channel. I, I don't know why anyone watches us, but anyways, that's what we do. If you enjoyed our speculations and our insights and you made it this far in the video, the catchphrase is Ryan. I don't know. Divorced parents. There you go. Right. Divorced parents in the comments below this YouTube video. And that shows us you watched straight to the end. So there you go. Yes. All we'll right. see. We'll see you on the next one.